Hey guys, this is actually Sora. Uh, we're here to do another video about Cycle Content Hub CMP and this time looking at integration into the Sitecore XP XM, so basically the content management system. Uh, we'll be using the Sitecore Connect uh, module which is available on dev.sitecore. Essentially this module will keep uh, both systems in sync, uh, mainly pulling content from CMP into Sitecore. Uh, and then, you know, when the content gets used, it uh, pushes an event back into uh, into Content Hub. So this this module is very crucial. Um, also, the architecture is pretty straightforward. Everything gets pushed via the service bus uh, in Azure. So when something changes, uh, you know, uh, a trigger is triggered, which triggers an action. Action pushes things into the service bus, which is the out queue comes and comes to Sitecore, Sitecore picks it up, pushes, uh, calls an API which pulls the in queue, uh, which then gets the entity values and things get added into Sitecore. So it's pretty straightforward. Let's uh, go ahead and install the package in Sitecore. So uh, choose the package, uh, pretty much hit next uh, on all the prompts and then overwrite uh, any of the files it needs to and I just reset the instance and then let it come back up in the meantime uh, so let's create a service bus inside of your Azure subscription um, I am just going to create a new resource group for this one And then uh, let's give it a namespace. I'm going to choose a location West US. And then pricing tier is kind of critical. So I'm going to choose standard, um, but I want to show the differences. So the reason why we chose standard is we need topics and the basic doesn't have topics standard is the first level which has topics so let's choose those and then uh, review and create so once that's done uh, what we need to do is uh, create topics so let's create a topic called hub in this is where the message from sitecore will go in uh, from the api uh, default options create And then let's create another topic called Hub Out. This is where the message from the trigger action from Content Hub will go into, which Sitecore will pick up. So for each of these topics, we need to create a subscription called a Sitecore. Um, I'll set the default delivery count as 2000 it's between 1 and 2000 and the rest of the options you leave it as is and then uh, we need to go ahead and create that uh, and then uh, go into shared policies we'll add a policy in here I'm gonna call it Roy uh, we just need to send in listen um, permissions on this one and then hit create uh, on uh, so for that right uh, policy just copy the connection string we'll use this in the connection strings of sitecore itself uh, let's get back to the hub out and we would do the same exact thing add a subscription called a sitecore 2000 for this one uh, default options create and then uh, let's go ahead and uh, create the shared access policy as well. Let's call this read um, and then set the send and listen, create. So now we have everything set up on this one. So go to read uh, and then get the connection string. This is something we need as well instead of set core. So back to content hub and then um, we need to create a user. This is the user we, the API is going to get that authenticated from. So specify a username. Uh, we do not have to specify any other uh, attributes at this moment. Let's give it a proper name. 
um, and then let's go to user groups we want this user to be a super user uh, and then go ahead and hit save it's going to wind but it will uh, ask you to create the policy combination which it does anyways so now that this user is in the super user let's set the profile specify uh, an email address uh, for this user hit save uh, and then this is the only way we can get the password so we'll do the reset password this will uh, send an email out to that um, email address so once you open the email click on the link you'll get to this screen reset the password um, once that's done keep a note of that we would need that too let's get into actions so we will create an action which basically will put the message in the in, on the service bus so name it appropriately we will choose the type type is going to be service bus Azure service bus specify the connection string so go to the main uh, service bus uh, access policies get the primary connection string from there place that in here specify the destination which is hub out again you can call these whatever you want you just have to be consistent test the connection it's great safe so now the action is we will put something in that um, service bus now get back into triggers this is where we will define you know the trigger so specify a name and then let's uh, choose an objective which is the modification uh, and then we want it to execute in the background not as part of the process uh, and then let's go into conditions we want to add a condition for content which is m.content and then we would add uh, the condition that you know if the state uh, added item uh, contains the state of uh, you know the whatever the final state is in your workflow and in our case it's published what we want is we want it to um, you know create this trigger uh, is what we need so either we can activate it now or afterwards so i'm just going to activate that and then uh, for every action you can uh, for the actions you can look at the auditing log um, to see what triggered uh, one thing i forgot is uh, on the trigger i forgot to link an action so let's link the cmp azure action on on the trigger so that when the trigger triggers it'll call this action that's the part which i missed so it's going to auth I'll look at the logic app copy the client id client secret this is what we need for the connection strings um, so in the connection strings again um, have these four values we specify the logic app we specify the user we created the password and the uri should not have a trailing space at the end copy paste that over for the in make sure you have the out connection string doesn't sound intuitive but it makes sense when you look at it um, specify the subscription and then the path out will have the in connection string so that's done with our, uh, our connection string save that uh, restart your instance let's look in the log real quick to see if there's any errors so um, let's go into sitecore uh, we have the cmp node create a bucket uh, we are going to name it events uh, in templates we have quite a few templates for cmp so let's get into foundation uh, create a new template called a cmp event uh, we'll go ahead and click next once this is done let's get into the content uh, and then I will inherit the content hub entity save uh, and then get back into the builder so here we need to find the field names we want to store which should match up with what we have on content hub so uh, getting the field names is one thing so we know we have name we have details and we have location and I'm going to set all of the, the details and location to rich text because it will uh, match up uh, nicely with what we have on content hub so save that and then um, so get into systems modules 
So uh, we basically have to add a configuration for the event mapping, um, data exchange framework rings, bell. So add event mapping. Uh, main thing here is that it has by default three fields which map to ex existing fields. Sort of content type. The content type ID is, is interesting. So we have several content content types, but we need the actual ID. So get into taxonomy. Uh, and then inside of taxonomy, if you look for content types, um, by default, if you look at a blog content type, you'll see the m.contenttype.blog, but because event was a custom one, you'll see a different ID, copy that over, uh, and then put it in your XP. Um, and then we need to assign a bucket. We already have one, so it's pretty easy and then the template we will use to push this data through inside the bucket so go ahead and hit event save that uh, and then we need to add field mapping so we, here we are mapping one to one the field which is coming from cmp to the field in the template so again field names are critical so go to a piece of content in in uh, cmp copy the URL, paste it, just replace the middle with app API slash entities. And if you look at the fields, um, again, the, they're non-conventional because they're custom, right? So copy the field names from here and then map each of these fields with, um, uh, with the field name inside of uh, your template. So name, let's add one for uh, details and then uh, copy the name over for details and then and then add um, another field name for location okay now uh, once you're all set uh, right now all the fields are set up between the two systems. Configuration looks good. We don't have any errors at this moment. So we need to go and add a piece of content. I'm going to go ahead and add an event. And again, because we just mapped events, I just want to concentrate on events. So let's give it some values. And then what we will do with this is we will push it through the workflow so that the right workflow states are set on this piece of content which will then trigger the trigger will use the action the action will push it into uh, into the service bus sitecore will pick up that message and then it will call back uh, into the in queue to get the information for the message essentially and then pull those values into sitecore so if you look at the the, the auditing for the action, you see a trigger was triggered, an action was called, it pushed it into the Azure queue. We could try to find it real quick. So the in queue is easy because you will find the message in there. This is a message coming from Sitecore going into Content Hub, but trying to catch a message in the out queue is really difficult just because the moment it drops in there, Sitecore seems to be very quick at picking it up so obviously we're not seeing any messages here but we did see the one coming back from Sitecore uh, so I'm gonna tr uh, try refreshing the event uh, and then uh, make sure that we did get the event which is great uh, so we get the entity identifier as well so let's try to do uh, add a new piece of content really quick and see how fast you know, without taking any pauses in between for Azure, how fast can I get this into Sitecore uh, to see, you know, how efficient these queues are, right? So I'm going to add this event. I will quickly provide the values for this event. Uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, and then um, let's, um, give the values. We will uh, basically save this and then push it through all the content workflows as quick as we possibly can so that um, we can um, trigger so let me quickly do that 
and then once we get to it uh, publish I'm gonna switch back really quick to Sitecore refresh this so we, there's no lag time we didn't stop anywhere so instant so that's pretty quick if you so anyways thank you so much for watching this video uh, special thanks to Andy Cohen for troubleshooting a problem with me